Uh, so next up, we have our uh, accident record list. And uh, it's really, uh, and again, I have this template for you. And they just want to know if you've been in an accident. They want you to provide the, the information about it. So they want to know date, time, accident address, number of deaths, number of injuries, number of vehicles told, it, towed, if it was hazmat or not, the driver's name, and the police report. All supporting documents such as insurance loss runs and police report should also be uploaded. Okay, so I have a template for this as well. If you've had no accidents, just put no accidents and that's it. Okay, if you had accidents, then you have to fill out all that information out. Okay, so that's the accident report. Excuse me, ac uh, accident record list. And, and you guys, the, the these lists, the vehicle driver, the accident register list, these are simple to fill out. You guys will knock this, this uh, new entrant audit in no time. And we're getting to the end here. And so for you hazmat um, people, hazmat shipping paperwork, motor carriers operating vehicles that haul hazmat must retain shipping papers for each type of hazmat transported. Uh, upload shipping papers for each type of hazmat material cargo transported. So that's your, uh, your duty. You want to go ahead and do that for the last 30 days. So that's all the items that you need uh, for the new entrant audit checklist. And again, if you have the compliance in order, you see that this is fairly simple. Uh, the last thing that'll happen is um, you're going to want to let me show you guys. This is the this is the um, uh, the piece of PDF that you'll get in the email. So the email will say the, exactly the same thing, and it'll give you a link where to upload these items. Okay, so we're going to click here. And so once you're in here, uh, this is the new entrant audit site, and you're going to want to hit log in on the left hand side right here. Enter your USDOT and your PIN number. Hit submit and. And right when you get inside, it'll, it'll have those documents lifted, listed out, driver's license. You click on the right-hand side and you hit upload, upload the driver's license. The next one, uh, proof of insurance, click on the right-hand side, upload the proof of insurance, and you just continue moving forward all the way down. And then the ELD, when you get to the ELD part, it'll ask you for a, your ELD number. Every company gives you a certain number and it'll show you where to find it. And you, you it is a specific number. Uh, it's basically your, your ID number with that with that ELD company, uh, and that's how they're able to find you. You put your ID number, and it'll connect your ELD with it. If you can't find it, if you can't find this number, contact your ELD provider. They know exactly what we're talking about, and they'll be able to, uh, to, to guide you. But that'll be it. You wait 45 days. As long as you did everything that I said, I mean, you're passing it. You've seen the reasons why people fail. It's just simply because they don't do it. So just get it done and, and you'll pass it and you won't have any problems. Uh, so I hope this one was very helpful for you guys and I will see you on the next one.